back, folks. Uh, let's get over to our man, Mr. Fred Ernest. Now, Fred, folks, is the CEO of Vista Gold. Uh, Vista Gold has a, a world-class gold project, Mount Todd, uh, in Australia. I happen to own Vista Gold, uh, as well as many tigers and tigresses out here. Fred Ernest, welcome back to TFNN. Tom, thank you. Good afternoon. Absolutely. So, uh, you know, pretty cool. We have the gold price out here at 1955. I know you've, you know, you, you, you've been out here with that world class uh, uh, gold project. Uh, it's de-risked. So, uh, you know, if you can give us a little update, that'd be great, Fred. Yeah, thanks, Tom. Uh, you know, last year was a great year for us. We completed the feasibility study for the project. And after that, we retained CIBC Capital Markets as our strategic advisor. You know, last year was a tough year with regards to inflation and, and you know, M&A activity slowed down. Yes. But the latter part of the year, we started working on a uh, an internal scoping study to look at a smaller scale project, one that would have a lower uh, capital cost and potentially be more attractive to uh, potential partners. And we hope to wrap that up uh, a little bit later this quarter. Uh, we think that that will attract uh, significant interest from those who partners who are, are interested in the optionality of Mount Todd. Sure, and I get, you know, you, as to the wind behind your back, you got two deals happening, just as you said, uh, you know, inflation, and in this particular case, I mean, the, the gold price has gone pretty dramatically higher since the last time I spoke with you. Let me ask you this, Fred, when, when folks are doing, you know, large gold projects like this, right? What do they have to use as the price of gold? I mean, because we know gold can go up and down $200, you know what I mean? So you're doing a longer term project. So, so what are big gold companies looking for to get involved in something like this? You know, that's an interesting question because every company has their own criteria. And I it's, see. Uh, okay. Some, some, are, uh, some are very conservative and using quite low gold prices as their threshold for evaluating projects, you know, in the, in the $1,300, $1,400 range. I see. Others, uh, others are a bit more, a bit more uh, progressive and, uh, you know, looking at, uh, at a $1,600 gold price, which is where we did our study. Nice. And can you explain, and, I, and I can, I, we all could see, there's no doubt, when you came out with the news release that, you know, you're looking at, at a smaller project that can bring it a much larger one, of course, the stock took off. Um, which which is awesome. Uh, so can you just explain how that works and, and how that would work somewhat to the clients? Yeah, so so we're evaluating, you know, Mount Todd is, is, is large. We have 9.4 million ounces of uh, total resource. We have a proven and probable reserve as reported in our feasibility study of just under 7 million ounces. But we've designed Mount Todd to be attractive to very large partners with, with a plant size of 50,000 tons a day. Wow. We're looking at, at, a, at a smaller project, uh, 15,000 tons a day, that would be scalable, that would allow us to um, build a project and, and, and instead of spending almost $900 million on, on initial capital, something that would be less than $400 million. So it's a, it's a way to bootstrap into the project and, and perhaps generate interest from a, a group of companies that would be very, very worthy partners but are mid-tier producers can't quite bite off a $900 million capex for the project. Sure, and, and you know, what does happen in your business um, is that the aspect is just like you said, the, you know, whether it's 50,000 tons, when you're talking about larger miners, I mean, the bottom line is that they have to replace, you know, what is basically, you know, coming out of the ground, right, each year. Uh, that's exactly right, you know, and so th that's why we designed the project, you know, to be appealing to a larger, a larger company. Unfortunately, larger companies are, are those that are acting most cautiously as we've gone through the last 10 or 12 months, you know, with, with the impacts uh, and effects of inflation. We think that some of the, 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 the mid-tier producers and uh, those who are looking for an opportunity to grow and lock in a project that would, would add significantly to their their production profile will find uh, a smaller project that's expandable very very appealing no I, I i think that's a great move i mean and there's no doubt you know the last run up folks is that at, when the run was up every everyone wanted to buy at the highs fred right when we go back to 2011 it's kind of funny how this works right but i guess you know everyone 
I'm not quite sure whether we all learned, but the bottom line is that there, there's the difference. So you're in Australia, which is, can you talk to folks a little about Australia? Because it's a great jurisdiction, right? And how, how is the currency going now in the jurisdiction? Yeah, so uh, Australia is a resource, resource exporting country well-established, very reliable mining laws. They're very supportive of, of the mining industry. In fact, most Australians, unlike here in the U United States, most Australians own mining stocks. It's just part of their, their national culture. And so it's uh, we find it to be a very safe uh, geopolitical jurisdiction, very easy to work in, they understand the mining industry. As far as the currency goes and, and, and exchange rates, you know, right now we're uh, we're trading around uh, 69 cents say, US per Aussie dollar. That's a very good exchange rate for the project. Our analysis was done at 71 cents. And it seems that it's pretty stable in that re in that range. It's been, you know, it's been going back and forth between 68 and 70 cents. So it's a, it's a really good exchange rate for us and the project. And, and when, you know, when we have miners, right? I mean, you know, the bottom line, miners folks can be in the middle of anywhere or nowhere. And, Mount Todd's case, I mean, you actually not only have the mine, but then you have the means actually to get this to market. Is that correct? Mount Todd is probably one of the most accessible large scale mines in all of Australia. You know, we're, uh, it's about 250 kilometers south, southeast of Darwin, 30 minutes north of Catherine, 10 minutes uh, east of uh, the major highway that connects Darwin on the north coast to. Adelaide on the south, and we have paved roads right to the mine site. So this is this is a site that you know, unlike many other operations that are remote, that require fly-in, fly-out access, uh, or driving for hours and hours. You know, literally in in two and a half, three hours at the most from the Darwin Airport, I can be at site, and that just speaks to the accessibility of the project. And with Catherine, you know, a community of uh, somewhere in the range of eighteen thousand people, thirty minutes away. You know, we've got a, we've got a community close by, all the support we need, and, and it's a great place for families to live. That's amazing. That's pretty cool. And you know, the bottom line is is that all we keep hearing the mantra is that you know, don't worry about inflation, don't worry about inflation. But the reality is, you know, listen, it seems to me that yeah, inflation might come down, but it's going to be really hard to get it down to two percent. So when inflation's here, we can go back to that old story about you know. 1930s, an ounce of gold gets you what? A, a, a suit. 2000, it gets you a suit. Now it gets you a suit, right? I mean, it's pretty cool when you look at that context because plenty of people, you know, I mean, it's, it keeps up. It, it keeps up with the cost of inflation. It's pretty amazing. It, it really is, you know, and, and while the numbers move around a little bit because of inflation and our costs are, are we, we estimate that, that our, our capital costs are about 8% higher than they were a year ago. Okay. Price of gold moving up, you know, the, the Mount Todd economics have always demonstrated a very robust. Absolutely. Well, listen, Fred, this is great. Appreciate the update. And folks, uh, change on the uh, New York American Exchange, VGZ. Fred, have a great one, safe one, and we plan on having you back again. Very well. Thank Thanks, you, Tom. man. Have a great one. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.